Man, your colleagues must hate your guts. They sure do, and they remind me every day. Like just yesterday, Aaron Kubal is a jackass. That's in response to my stance on us chiropractors treating babies. Take a look. Here's everything that's wrong with it. For starters, the science just isn't there. Some disagreed. Here's their video calling me out. Maybe they'll prove me wrong. Development of the brain and spinal cord happens in the first year of life. Because chiropractors are nerve doctors, parents see the value in taking their children. Wait, we can call ourselves nerve doctors? A neurologist is a nerve doctor. I don't think we're nerve doctors. When you take your children to a chiropractor, they will tell you they are not treating anything. They are removing interference from the nervous system so that your child's body... I don't know what that means. I'm going to skip to the research. This study talks about the long-term effects of chiropractic and how it helped children later in life. Okay, so that's a survey. Baby's treated for colic and they ask the parents if the treatment worked. So there's a high risk of bias. It's non-randomized, small sample. The thing about colic is that it gets better on its own like 100% of the time by 12 weeks, which just happens to be the time frame of the treatment. So let's go to the next one. This study talks about the improvement in brainstem regulation, which is the goal of chiropractic. Wow, improved brainstem regulation sounds pretty cool. Let's see what they used to measure that. Oh, they just made it up in a random chiropractic clinic. Okay, we're gonna skip this one. This study shows that all the benefits that moms saw in their children and how it also affected them. Okay, so another survey showing improvement in things that already improve on their own. But it did show the moms felt reassured and best practice for colic is to reassure distressed parents, so okay. This study showed how it improved colic. Hey, okay, a randomized control trial with super wide confidence intervals and small sample and inconsistent data and blinding issues and high dropout rate. Okay, so it's low quality. I'd be cautious about buying into it much, but it's better than surveys and anecdotes. This study says that chiropractic is an evidence-based practice. What? Okay, lost me there for a second. I guess she cut out the title and then highlighted a sentence and read it. But don't worry, I found it. It's a systematic review. Those can be quite helpful, but we got to look at the inclusion criteria to see what it's reviewing. Ah, uh, there's those surveys again. This is what you call garbage in, garbage out. In other words, you make unreliable conclusions when you review unreliable research. Actually, they didn't even conclude chiropractic was effective for colic. They said it's an alternative. In other words, it doesn't work, but neither does anything else, and at least it's not very dangerous. So actually... The science is there. Uh, how? It, it feels like we read different papers or something. Just another day in the life.